What's up, fellow YouTubers? I'll be drinking a uh, Cherry Dr. Pepper because, one, I don't need alcohol all the time to have a good time. Uh, two, I'm out of alcohol. And three, it's way too early to be drinking alcohol anyways. More importantly, you know, women have the ability to make men do whatever they want without even having to try. If there's a slight chance that man thinks he might get some pussy and squeeze some titties and slap some ass or whatever, he'll jump through hoops for that shit like a toy dog begging for a treat. There are guys who do it because they're trying to get laid, and then there are guys who are doing it because they want to be a good friend. <clears throat> and here's a surprise. You make a clone of Willie of your boner, and then when... When if you're still with your wife, by the time your dick stops working, you can give it to her as like a 75th anniversary wedding present. Uh, I'm just kidding. That wasn't really that funny. If you go over your budget taking her out to eat and she's not in the mood to suck your dick, but you suck her pussy, you get called a simp. Ah, fuck you. In relationships, you gotta take turns. Hold on, I got Oh, Asperger's. You wanna hear some real shit? <clears throat> Yesterday, I got the carpet squares from Etsy in the mail. As I was boxing them up, this dude walked by me and just called me a faggot and walked out the door. I don't even know the prick. And I'm like, excuse me, dude. Then I got a text message from some random dickhead on my phone. You better not go live again, pussy. And I'm like, fucking make me douche rocket. This kind of crap happens all the time. I get fucked with for no reason. People don't even know me. They just go out of their way to fucking start shit. And I'm like, do I know you? The fuck's your problem, guy? You know why they call it a Mercedes Benz? Because she might just bends over. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Not trying to sound like a typical feminist, but if your asshole was bleeding for four days straight and you literally had to stick a tampon up there to stop the bleeding, and on top of that, your balls hurt and you couldn't get your dick up for those four days. And at the same time, you were really fucking horny and wanted some pussy. And every guy you encountered just simply pissed you off. For no reason. You would fucking hate it. Beautiful sunrise over Casper, Wyoming. That's most definitely what's up. <sighs> if you're buying drinks just because you want some easy, accessible, of-age bar slut pussy, you know, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons, in my opinion. You know, if you're buying a drink for a lady, you do it because you want to experience her company, you know, talk to her, you know, shit. If you're a dude who likes chicks, 100% with you on that, but here's the thing of it. If you had a dude that was four times four times your size rape you, he wouldn't like it, and if you told him no and he said, too bad, bitch. You would fucking hate it. You're not gay, but someone forced you to be gay with them. You wouldn't like it. So why do it to women? Exactly my point. Superb content. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. You should stop watching incels and start... Ah, uh, I hate incels. That word gets thrown around like the word bitch, to be honest. Can you make a blue chi ball? I could, yes. Yeah, and this is why you're a troll getting banned from my channel. The idea that practicing Tai Chi or magic is seen as immature or juvenile. Grow the fuck up, nerd. This is why you can't get laid. Oh, yeah, because if I make wands, I'm such a fucking nerd, it just dries chicks' pussies out. Please. What if there's a, seriously, what if there's a chick out there or girls out there who are into the same shit I'm into? Power of the mind type shit, you know? Shit. And you're not even the real kid rock, dude. Go fuck yourself. So, Sean, where do you work? I work at a funeral home. You work at a funeral home? Yep. 
are used to seeing assholes with no wives. And today's no exception. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. In fact, there are some people out there who think I'm too stupid to cook pasta or make different recipes. So, yep. Trying new cooking videos. Getting more subscribers. That shirt probably smells like ass. Uh, no, but just smells like your mom's bedroom. It was on the floor of her bedroom last night, bud. Are you okay? I am just fine. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even reading the text out loud. I look at it, read what it says, and just laugh and go, oh, look at that. Block. I could spam the numbers that are texting this and dox them, but I'm like, you know what? I'm more mature than my trolls, to be honest. Uh, well, think about this, you know, and I'm, this is a fair comparison, YouTube. I'm a celebrity on YouTube. Let's not mince words, okay? I can't control my radical fans or what my trolls do. You know, I got some weird people that follow me, and I appreciate the support, but goddamn, dude. I didn't even know Blair White was trans until someone told me, and honestly, I don't care. Good on her. Him, whatever they identify as. Pronouns. Blair White doesn't really do it for me. Once I found out she was trans, I'm like, man. Good on her, man. That's that's their shtick, but getting called a transphobe because you won't date transgendered people is the biggest crock of crap. That's like saying, oh, if you won't suck your 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 male friend's dick. You're a homophobe, really? So, okay, you want to call me a transphobe? Well, then go right ahead. I don't care. I've been getting called that. I've been I've been getting called trans for a long time because I wear goth makeup and I like chicks. I'm proud of the dick between me legs. So to see a heterosexual white who identifies as male, the confidence I have triggers people. I actually had enough to cover this order. Believe it or not, I did. And it cost me 17 bucks, which is a bit of a price to have it delivered. I would agree to that. But it's convenience and it's a product review. Jeepers Creepers wouldn't wear that hat. Yeah, well, Jeepers Creepers wouldn't fuck your mom either, but he still did that. And I'm like, you know, if you're going to get a sex doll, don't be creepy about it, dude. You know, the fucking social stigma of it pisses me off. I've seen women on Chatterbait who have these fuck machines where they literally have a dildo bigger than yours attached to the end of it. She flips it on, bends over... And <laughs> never gets tired, never goes soft, never treats her like shit, doesn't come and make a mess in her hair. And if I hadn't found a girlfriend in like 10 years, you know, why not, right? I'd save up for one. The only reason women are creeped out by sex dolls is because it's something to compete with. So that's what they think. You know, all these sci-fi <laughs> movies where robots and shit take over you're just like nope and to be fair you know are you gonna want to fuck a chick who's been railed out by a fuck machine to the point where her pussy's more loose than a loose string knot especially when she's used to a dick that's never getting tired you know it's the same argument and the answer as well if she was consenting enough age and you wanted it bad enough yeah I don't, honestly don't care if people dislike the video. I'm more focused on the likes and the support. Thank you for watching this four hour long live stream. And uh, subscribe for more awesome content. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you later.